Welcome to Joellen's Kitchen. I know I often get comments about not wearing an apron and having a dress on. So uh, today I think I'm going to get messy and I thought I'd show you my Pennsylvania Dutch apron. And it's basically uh, sewn at the top, but as you can see there is a back to it and you have to slip yourself into it almost like you're putting on a shirt there's a hole for the neck and the two armholes and you get it around your body and i'm going to turn around here so you can see there's two ties and this and if i can tie a bow back there it might not be the best but there's my Amish apron. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you a Pennsylvania Dutch or Amish apron. And today it's almost Valentine's Day. This might get posted a little after Valentine's Day because I already have a, a dish set up to publish on this coming Monday. So it might be a week from now, but that's okay. I thought I'd make candy for Valentine's Day. A lot of times you make mashed potatoes or baked potatoes or boiled potatoes and you have leftovers and if you do I have an idea for that leftover potato or maybe you get a chicken barbecue and you have a potato that you don't eat the whole thing right away you cut it in half sometimes they're pretty big you have half left what do you do with half a potato well I didn't have any leftovers today after telling you all that. So I found a small potato and I put it in my microwave and I baked it. So I'm just going to peel off the skin. It's been cooling a little bit so it's not so hot to hold in my hands. What you're going to do is put this into a bowl, mash it down, and add powdered sugar to it as well as vanilla and you're going to keep going until you have the consistency of dough. It takes about a pound of powdered sugar and it takes a half a teaspoon of vanilla. But the unknown is exactly how much powdered sugar you're going to use because as you're doing it What's happening is the moisture in the potato is absorbing the water. So again, this is not a real big potato. It's recommended you use a potato the size of an egg. So for comparison, um, you can see it started out a little bigger, but it's not that big. And there's only two of us, so I don't have to make a whole lot. But I might share it with some friends. I put in my half a teaspoon of vanilla. And now... I'm going to open my powdered sugar, and this is two pounds, so I'm going to use about half of it so I can visualize about how much I need. And this is one that the powdered sugar can fly everywhere, thus the apron. And on top of that, you're going to get in there with your hands. So you're going to get a little dirty. Uh, so I'm just going to squeeze some in there maybe a third or a quarter, a quarter to a third of a pound. I'm just going to start working it and kneading it between my fingers and getting the moisture from the potato in the powdered sugar. Start with mashed potatoes. There's going to be a little milk and a little bit of butter in there and you're going to have a little more moisture. Um, since my potato seemed to be on the dry side, more in your maybe I'll just add some more powdered sugar until I'm sure how much I need. About a tablespoon we'll try. Oh yeah, we're doing good now. And now I can put in the last third of that pound. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. It really depends Again, how moist your potato is, or how moist you make your potato. I think we got it this time. 
pretty much have my dough ball here. It's just about right. Have a little bit of powdered sugar left on the bottom. See if we can pick that up. There we go. What I need to do is get some wax paper, two pieces actually, and we're going to roll our candy dough between two sheets of wax paper. And we want to roll this into a square versus a circle to the best of your ability. It'll come out the way it comes out. You want it to be maybe a quarter of an inch thick, something of that nature. So we want to get some peanut butter and spread it out on the... Of course you don't want it cold if you have it in the refrigerator. Get it out ahead of time so that it softens up and you can spread it real easily. So this is not a hard recipe at all, as you can see. Very few ingredients. And the idea was to use up leftover potatoes, mashed or baked or boiled, or microwaved in my case, whatever your case is. It's just a fun thing, again, something to do with the kids if you're quarantined. Okay. So we've got our peanut butter spread, and somebody can lick off that spatula. And what we want to do, you might need a butter knife just to help you along, but you want to flip it and kind of roll it in. And you, it's, it will look like a pinwheel. Oh, mine's pretty dry. I maybe could have. Maybe it's just because it's so close to the center. It's rolled so tight. Oh, yeah, it's starting to work now. We're getting our rolling going on. And that might help me get it to this point. Oh yeah, it looks good. Now what we're going to do is wrap this roll in a piece of cellophane and stick it in the refrigerator to firm up so we can slice it into pinwheels. And then we'll just arrange it on little plates for giving. Okay, to the refrigerator my pinwheel goes. Okay, we had this in the refrigerator about two hours and I can actually pick it up and it doesn't bend anymore so I think it's ready to cut. Take it out of our foil and I'll cut the ends off and those are just sample pieces because they don't make a nice neat pinwheel and then we'll just go down through here and cut I'm making them half an inch wide I suppose you can do the width you like okay I have my little plate and I'm just going to arrange these pinwheels on here Would you look at that? That's just about perfect, I'd say. There we go. We have our plate of potato candy, Pennsylvania Dutch. Enjoy and happy Valentine's Day. This could be addicting.